Tonight, it's finally quieter on the weather front, but now we are in cleanup mode. It began early today with neighbors out helping neighbors and plows working hard to clear those side streets and residential streets all across the area. And the process still continuing tonight and for some communities, it will continue into the weekend. Our Carmen Blackwell takes us around Cleveland's east and west sides to see how residents are handling all of this snow. On the corner of East 65th and Dibble Street is where Andrew Washington lives and cares for his 90 year old parents. After the storm, he picked up his shovel and spent the day digging. And my driveway was up to the car, up to the front of the car. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend of mine had to come and shovel it out with a truck. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And digging his way out of all the snow the storm left behind. Earlier today, before the truck had a chance to come down, it was cars getting stuck left and right. You know, and everybody pitches in and helps out. Getting a plow to pass through residential areas more often was at times hard to come by, with the storm dumping up to 25 inches of snow over northeast Ohio. Once you get to a certain layer of it, it's just all ice. On the west side of the city are neighbors like Miguel, digging his community out of a hard place. Miguel also took to a shovel and used his snowblower. Started early, started plowing, taking these houses for houses. You'd be surprised, every house you hit, someone across the street needs you too. All the neighbors stick together. That's why we're all here doing this like this. And when the city plows did roll through. I think they did all right on the streets. Honestly, it's the new mayor doing his job. Residents were relieved to receive a little more help. But now everything's starting to look good. You know, we had a truck come through here not that long ago, so they're doing better than last time. And things really are starting to look a whole lot better all over the east and the west side. Rustler, I just want to show you uh, right behind me. I know that uh, you may not be able to see too closely. The snow was coming down pretty good, but we are at West 65th and West Clinton. And you can see the snow is already filling up a lot of the streets from a lot of the hard work that uh, our residents have been digging themselves out of and snow plowers have been trying to push the snow through. So cleanup mode still in full effect, but what a story to wrap up the week after quite the week that we've had. And it's also good to hear that there are just such good people in Cleveland, right? As a newcomer, uh, just to hear these types of stories of people really banding together to help each other out. It's the perfect way to wrap up this crazy week that we've had. Yes, you back will you. fall in love with this community. They truly are the real heroes here. Carmen, thank you. And if you want to know who is helping to keep track of the plows and where they go in the city of Cleveland, meet Operation Snowbird. This is the command center for city plowing that is 24 7 during and after storms. So that means while dozens of crews clear the streets, a handful of people are working in this room with computers, radios and monitors, keeping track of it all. Of course, the impact of the blizzard was felt all over Northeast Ohio. Areas to the south also got hit with heavy snow and ice. Well, Uick was in that area through the storm and has the latest from Akron. Hard getting out the driveway, but I, I managed. Residents in Akron, like Don Fields, are used to dealing with harsh winter conditions. But over the last several days, even the toughest have been tested and learning a thing or two. Oh, a boss snowblower, a lot of salt beforehand once you know what's going to happen. But imagine dealing with those conditions lost alone and your only shelter is the pajamas and throw coat that you had on. We, when we received the call, I believe it had been uh, at multiple hours uh, that she was outside. At the request of the Summit County Sheriff's Office, the State Highway Patrol launched an aviation search for a missing 65-year-old woman with dementia on her own in the blizzard-like conditions. Luckily, using thermal imaging, they were able to locate and rescue the woman who was at close risk to severe frostbite, hypothermia, or even death. It's a rewarding profession. Uh, it's a rewarding, uh, you know, outcome when your training and everything that you do uh, goes right and you get someone home safe. Troopers say it's a good reminder to be extra careful during these storms and extra mindful of those close to you. Uh, power outages, uh, extreme cold, extreme uh, weather, ice, snow, all of that. We need to be checking in on each other uh, and making sure that, you know, everyone's safe. Everyone's uh, where they need to be. Uh, and if they're not, that's when, you know, we need to start the search process and, uh, and try to get them home safe. 
a great reminder to check in on your loved ones during this inclement weather. Make sure that they are safe. As far as the inclement weather, as you can see, the snow finally subsiding a bit down here in Summit County. ODOT says they're switching over to much more salting and brining, less plowing down here with drivers continuing to work 12 hour shifts until the job is done. In Akron tonight, Will Uick, 3 News. What a difference a day can make. While there were no passengers to be seen at Hopkins yesterday because of flight cancellations, it was packed today. There have been some cancellations and delays today, but airport officials say they have been hard at work. We have uh, snow plows, we have brooms, we have uh, large blowers. We use sodium formate, potassium acetate. We use sand um, on the airfield. Not only do they have to worry about keeping the tarmac clear, they also must make sure all the amenities inside the terminal are accessible as well. Tonight, departure delays were averaging just under an hour.